Corey, when the good news is really good, uh, no doubt a president would love to talk about it. This one certainly likes to talk about the economy, jobs every chance he can get, especially with the unemployment rate at the lowest we've seen since man walked on the moon for the first time. Now his predecessor saying not so fast. President Barack Obama tweeting 11 years ago today near the bottom of the worst recession of generations I signed the Recovery Act paving the way for more than a decade of economic growth and the longest streak of job creation in American history. So can Democrats claim credit or at least some credit for the jobs created under this president? Economist Steve Moore is with us. Real Clear Politics, Susan Crabtree. Steve, you seem to be on board with that. So uh, what do you think? Yeah, and Jimmy Carter was responsible for the Reagan boom, too. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's rather ridiculous. Don't forget, Neil, uh, about two months before the election, uh, it was Barack Obama, remember, who famously said, you know, Trump, tr Trump's going to try to bring back these manufacturing and construction and mining jobs. How is he going to do that with a magic wand? And, of course, here we are three years later with a million and a half more of these blue-collar jobs. One, one other point, you know, when I was on the campaign in 2016, and we would go to states like Mich Michigan and Pennsylvania and Iowa and West Virginia and Kentucky, and when you would ask people, I would always ask people, how's that Obama recovery going for you? And you know what, uh, Neil, people would say, what recovery are you talking about? Because it was a good economy if you lived in Silicon Valley or Hollywood or Wall Street or in Washington, D.C., but in the rest of the country, not so much. 36 percent of the American people rated the economy good or great uh, during the Obama uh, presidency. Today, almost 70 percent rate the economy as good or great. Well, I mean, numbers can be funny things, and I get that. I know where Steve's coming from, but Susan, the fact of the matter is it, it was not as if, you know, Donald Trump inherited a depression or, or, you know, we had gone from in the early days of the Obama administration losing a million jobs a month um, to, to gaining. In the last three years of administration to hear the Obama folks tell it, eclipsed the three years of job gains under this president. We could play fast and loose with the numbers um, on either side, by the way. I'm not meaning to disparage Steve at all. But, but this notion that maybe both men can take a bow, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's actually right. Um, you know, the Democrats right now are very desperate to put the brakes on Trump's momentum, obvious momentum with the economy and strengthening the economy. I mean, you had a Gallup poll out, recent Gallup poll out, saying 90 percent of Americans a record high are happy with their personal lives, including their financial, uh, personal wealth and their prospects, and 61 percent are feel like they're better off and more satisfied than they were three years ago. That's basically the definition of a winning uh, candidacy for president. Are you better off than you were three years ago? That's what Reagan said, and it did well for him. Um, uh, what I'm, what you do need to, when you break down the numbers, uh, you do have to give uh, President Obama some credit. Uh, the last three years of his presidency, he uh, produced 8.1 million jobs, uh, new jobs. Uh, now, in the first three years of Trump's presidency, you have uh, 6.1 million jobs. Those, those are the estimates. And so you, you do have a slower recovery going on now, but the pro the issue is, I think, is uh, he's building on an already stable economy. So this is like more growth, and people are already satisfied. Well, and no, I you're think you raise a good point. I think it, it's a, a tip of the hat to both presidents in that regard. And I think, uh, you know, Steve, your old boss, I mean, he can look at this and say, I've taken what many viewed to be full employment and made it fuller. And all demographic groups, all, all groups of Americans, uh, from whites uh, to, to Hispanics, mm -hmm. African Americans, women, are looking at record low unemployment levels. And Americans in a Gallup poll seem to give this president the tip on that one. Where do you think this goes? Like when people sort of crunch it down, how, what will be the winning argument? Well, look, you know, here we are three years into the Trump presidency. Again, I worked on the campaign, Neil. I mean, it's rather rich for people like Barack Obama and all these economists at Harvard and Yale and Princeton who basically said, and you remember this, Neil, remember? They said, if Barack Obama is elected, I mean, if Donald Trump is elected president, he's going to cause the second Great Depression. We're going to have, a, he's going to destroy the stock market and so on. And they no, were I think completely. Paul Krugman the, said that. I don't think Barack Paul, Obama No, but did. They, all, all right. they all said it. I mean, Krugman, of course, was the most wrong of all. But right. my point is, so here we are three years later. And the same people who said Trump was going to destroy the economy, now that we have the best economy in 50 years, say, oh, well, Obama deserves the credit. I, I just think that's, uh, you know, it's hard to uh, square with the facts. The other thing, Susan, the, the problem with your analysis on the jobs is the big boost uh, that has happened under Trump has been what's happened with wages and income. So in three years, 
median household income has gone up over more than four thousand uh, dollars under Trump, whereas in eight years under Obama they went up only a thousand dollars. So the middle class is just seeing a well, huge, huge growth increase. Wage is a little north of three percent, or it's a little under three percent. But you're, you're right, guys. No, no, no. The, but the the incomes, the median incomes, that's because more people are re working. Right. If you look at family incomes, those are growing four times faster than they did under Obama. That's the reason people are shopping more and, and they're feeling good about things. Wage but guys, I want to thank you both very, very much.